everyone if you're brand new then thank you so much for joining us i hope that you'd like to stick around and join us in all of our adventures you can do that by hitting the little subscribe button you know it is <laughs> if you do hit the subscribe button then please make sure to turn on the notification bell as well and then you'll be notified every single time that we post absolutely today's a very spooky day yeah so this is the start of our vloggerween week yes that is what we're naming halloween <laughs> week we're not sure if that's the right thing but i think it so. is now yes it is now and <laughs> um, we're starting off easy i think well it's a bit spooky mind there's some creepy ones mm -hmm. so yes it is a bit easier than ones we got coming up but it's a bit creepy so we're starting with british superstition we are and there's loads of them we yeah. have done 10 here but there are so, so many more yeah so it turns out as a country we're pretty superstitious yeah and um, lots of these i've heard of some of these I do personally, and yeah. I think John may be a little bit more superstitious than me. Absolutely, my family is very superstitious growing up as a kid, so I've definitely um, done these or heard of these before, yeah. Yeah, so in no particular order, we are starting with number one, okay. which is it's bad luck to open an umbrella indoors. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit obvious one, but in the 18th century, they started making the umbrellas how they made today with the metal um, bits in the middle um, and they say obviously when you open it up in doors you could hurt someone or knock someone off hence it'd be bad luck yeah that would make sense it does yeah. a little bit less <laughs> sensical um, in Egyptian times the umbrellas were mostly used to protect Egyptians from the sun yep. um, so opening one indoors was disrespectful to the sun goddess so. yeah I like that and if it's a sun god then send us more god that's on here yeah I like, I like seeing like <laughs> Parasols, but when you see people with parasols, I do think that's really pretty. I do, yeah, no, it is nice. Yeah, <laughs> so number two is one that I have heard of, and I tend to do it myself, like, I, I won't do this because it's bad luck, but um, <laughs> I think you've done this. So, okay. number two is walking under a ladder. I've definitely done this on probably daily basis, yeah, um, and it's all to do with um, the, the pyramids and the. Yeah, so the Egyptians believe in the power of the pyramid, obviously, yep. because they built the pyramid. I see. And so walking under a ladder, they believe, broke the power of the pyramid. Yes, it was really fascinating because I wasn't really sure that was a, a ladder, um, a ladder and, and for the pyramid type. So. Yeah, in the Egyptian yeah. time. Also, it just seems silly to me to walk under a ladder. <laughs> There's people up there, the ladders are never balanced very well. What if they drop something yeah, on you? We do it all the time. No. <laughs> Okay, number three, it's bad luck to smash a mirror. Yeah, seven years bad luck, and it's all to do with um, reflecting of your soul. Yeah, so um, the Romans believed that the reflection in a mirror or in water reflects your, represents yeah. your soul. So if that's distorted, then so is your soul. Your soul. Yeah. yeah, and it's really fascinating, really. Yeah, and the seven year bit comes from. Um, the Romans also believed in a seven year health cycle. Yeah, um, what? It, it makes a lot of sense really, because yeah. every seven years you've got to ne never have. I think that might be true as well actually, because like that's how uh, like you can grow out of things. Yeah, absolutely. So I think yeah, that might be true. I used true. to get a lot of cold sores when I was a kid, and I don't get them now, so every seven years you go out for But imagine time. smashing a mirror and then having to wait seven <laughs> whole years for your look to change. I definitely smashed a mirror though. I have definitely smashed a mirror, and I, and I don't think I had seven years bad luck to touch with. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is spilling salt is bad luck. Yes, um, it's because spilling the uh, salt is it invites the devil to your house. Um, but if you do spill it, don't worry. If you chuck it salt over your left shoulder, it goes away and it, and it can react to itself. I don't necessarily believe in this one. I know that salt is something that you know if you're watching scary films it's often like make a ring of salt <laughs> and stuff like that yeah. but i don't believe spilling salt would invite the devil no but, but i do like to do the action so i, I think do you have to just in case it does just in case <laughs> yeah so number five is that and this is one that my nana really believes in um and if not she used to tell us off for yeah. it anyway um it's bad luck to put new shoes on the table yeah this is one that was was uh, rammed home to us as a kid never ever do it um and it's because because it represents a death in the family. Mm -hmm. um, it's, they said it's a minor, if they you put a minor shoes on the table, that's to tell the family that he died. Yeah, that's often how they would find out that a member of their family had yeah. died. And also when um, new shoes are or used to be made, they were made with like a nail in them, they were pretty yeah. scratchy. Yeah. So when you put them on the table, they scratch the table. Yeah, so, so it makes a lot of sense as well. Yeah, <laughs> and also not new shoes would be dirt like the minor shoes would be dirty yeah so i don't like that but anyway. obviously there's a symbol and if they've seen it on the table they, they obviously know this mm -hmm. little one died um so number six 
seeing a magpie on its own, just one, is bad luck. Yes, it is. Um, and this is a Scottish superstition, and it's because that they believe magpies like represent death. So there's a death coming if you see one magpie on their own. Mm -hmm. um, and that's also because they believe that the magpies hold one drop of blood from the devil okay, under their tongue. There's a lot of death here, isn't there? A well, lot of death. There's a lot of death. But don't worry, because if you do see a magpie, just give it a salute and it counteracts and it takes it away. Mm -hmm. Number seven is it's bad luck to pass on the stairs. Yeah, this is really interesting because, like, this is another one that we were told as a kid. Um, and it's all come from when men used to carry swords. Um, and if you're crossing the stairs, obviously you got back to one another and they can stab you in the back. Mm -hmm. What makes a lot of sense. It's not very brave to stab <laughs> someone in the back though, no. is it? So number eight is cross knives on a plate mean that there's going to be an argument. Yes it <laughs> does, yeah. But if you uncross them straight away, then that argument dissipates and it won't happen. I wonder how many people have accidentally <laughs> crossed knives on a plate. I'd like to know if like people are like, oh well they have that <laughs> route <laughs> because but it's oh, only where it's pointing, so if you've got cross knives, wherever the cross knives are pointing, that's where the argument's going to be. So if you're in a line of that cross knives, those two people are going to have an argument. Mm. So just pointing at a wall, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't mean nothing. You're going to stand and argue with the wall. <laughs> but anyway, well, some people do, but if you cross it and aim at a member of family, that's the two people that's going to argue. That's interesting. Family. Yes. Okay, so number nine is it's bad luck to see or hear bats. This one we are out of luck with because there are tons of bats where we live. Yeah, every night we probably see some bats. And they're really brave as well, they're like <laughs> Yeah, they get really you. close. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but that is because in the Middle Ages, bats were really closely linked with witches. So yep. they believed that if you saw a bat, then you were near a witch. Um, but I quite like, <laughs> I like not the idea of like bats and witches, but I like that they believe that witchcraft exists. I like to think that it does. Yeah, it's interesting that, that they associate bats with a witch. I, don't, I, know, I know obviously we all think it's Halloween, bats and witches, but what, who made that link? How but I it? would associate bats with vampires, not witches. Yeah. Yeah. But the so Middle but... Ages maybe know something <laughs> I don't. Yeah, they made that link somehow. Mm. What makes, yeah. And so number 10, our last one, but one that both me and John do, <laughs> um, is if you're wishing something or saying, oh, I hope that doesn't happen to me, <laughs> you must touch wood. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if there's no words, you can touch your head. Yep. Um, and this comes from the pagan belief that bad spirits or evil spirits live in trees um, and in wood. So if you're wishing for something and you knock on wood, that means they can't hear you and they won't try and like stop your plans. Absolutely, yeah. So it's really interesting. I really enjoy these. Yeah, this. it seems that as a country, um, we're really superstitious. And I'd be interested to know if there are lots of superstitions in other countries as well so let me know down below Absolutely, if you're yeah. from somewhere that's not England and you've got superstitions or if you're from somewhere in England mm -hmm. which is one of the superstitions we said today that you guys follow. Absolutely yeah, there's tons we probably missed loads out or we have missed loads out and I'm sure other countries got their own ones as well it'd be really interesting. Which to one out of the ten we did um, is one that you most believe in? Um, putting shoes on the table mm -hmm. I used to get told off all the time for that mm -hmm. and crossing the stairs I never on the stairs. Mm. Even now, we're across the stairs. No, he <laughs> no. does. <laughs> Not often. Not often, no. but you do do. Yeah. So for me, I think it's the touch word I do that one. Out of, I don't think I'm very superstitious, but out of the lot, that's the one I would do. Mm -hmm. Or your soul, we've done that one a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or mad pie, we've done that, have you done more? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope that you'll stick around for the rest of Vlogoween. Absolutely, you've got lots coming up, a lot of fun stuff coming up. Yeah, yeah. so thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.